Well, a very good day to you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of the Candy Talk here on Herman Manyora's YouTube channel. Remember, this is your most trusted and, of course, most comprehensive political and public governance analysis show in this country and across the borders. We always keep you updated with all of that is taking place in our country, Kenya. And across, I'm here with Professor Herman Manyora. Prof, how are you, sir? I'm good. Mm -hmm. yes. The word on the street is that your good friend, uh, Dr. Fred Matiangi, has decided to lay down very serious grounds in uh, his bid to make sure that uh, he kicks out the current president, William Ruto, out of office come the year 2027. It seems like uh, this 2027 general elections is a big deal for Kenyans. Let's begin from there. Why do you think it's attracting a lot of attention and all this manner of stuff at this particular moment? Well, the, 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 the people feel uh, there is a vacancy. Mm -hmm. Any time we have uh, either the incumbent is not seeking office again as it was in 2022, mm -hmm. the competition is uh, furious. Yes. Or when the incumbent, as in the case of Joe Biden, mm -hmm. appears to be too weak. Mm -hmm. And I think people think Ruto is a man under siege. Mm -hmm. And therefore, people who not maybe have wanted to run mm -hmm. can see a there's a big chance. Mm -hmm. And that's how the interest... And generally in the country, there are those in big numbers who believe Ruto should live. And so, that, so, that explains the interest. So are you seeing that big chance being created here? It depends on how they play politics. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Matiang is my friend, a colleague of mine for many years. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know whether he's running, whether it is serious or not. Okay. Like you have just read in the papers. Mm -hmm. But uh, again, mm -hmm. you can never know politics. Mm -hmm. Politics in a Ujanja. <laughs> Prof, Prof I, wonder, I wonder what the president has done wrong that has led him to this particular moment. Because uh, ideally, it's normally thought that for a president who is seeking a second time, especially in this country, under this particular moment, it should be more of a walkover for him. It should not be attracting so many candidates as we are now looking at it happening here. Do you think that perhaps President William Ruto has actually failed to play his cards you right know, somewhere? You know politics is a very interesting thing. Mm -hmm. Sometimes not even reality. Mm -hmm. Sometimes just perception. Mm -hmm. People may perceive Ruto to be doing bad. Maybe he's not doing bad. Mm -hmm. I'm not apologetic. Mm -hmm. I'm not defending what he's doing. But I'm just saying you may not know. Mm -hmm. But the feeling in the country is like it was a relay. Mm -hmm. So... There is somebody with a baton running, mm -hmm. and Kenyans are cheering. Mm -hmm. Why are they cheering? Because the man they are about to hand over to is William Ruto. Mm -hmm. They have so much expectation, so much hope. Mm -hmm. But the moment the Ruto receives the baton, he turns the other way around instead of mm -hmm. running where he was going. So Kenyans are wondering. Uh -huh. wait, wait, you've seen that kind of thing <laughs> yeah, <I've seen. laughs> in some social media. Mm -hmm. So Ruto seems to many Kenyans to, have, to be running in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. He says we shall see results. Mm -hmm. We can only hope. Okay. Yeah. That's why people like they be, they believe is they had so much hope in him. Mm -hmm. He created so much hope. Okay. There were too many promises. Mm -hmm. Hi, my name is Eileen Akal and I'm the head of training at Center for Innovative Technology Limited, SciTech. If you finish your form four and you would like to enter into an engineering field, architectural field, or any related field, please come to SciTech. We will train you how to be industry ready. We will also train you how to make engineering drawings. We will train you how to draw using the software. I did my degree in China for four years. After I finished my degree, I come back to my country, Kenya. But the knowledge I find in SciTech, it's much, much better than the four years I spent in China. We can empower a lot of young people in Kenya to gain gainful employment. And I want to speak to parents out there. If you have a child who's just done fourth form between the time they, they do their exams and the time they enter tertiary education, there are so many months there they waste. Bring them here in those short months they will gain skills that they can use to advance their careers, to start their own even private companies. They can find work online and uh, when they go to university, they'll be so way ahead of their peers. Welcome to SciTech. Now, instead of delivering the promises, he's doing the exact opposite. Mm -hmm. But he's, he's saying he knows what he's doing. Okay. We pray for him. Mm -hmm. We hope it is true. Mm -hmm. 
we, we wish, we hope that we'll get to a point where we shall benefit mm -hmm. from the good things he's promising. But what we can see now mm -hmm. is only pain and suffering. Mm -hmm. Because he's doing the opposite of what he promised he would do. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that is actually what is now creating all yes, this. Yes, yes, Let's yes. get to the candidature of uh, uh, Dr. Fred Matiani yes. here in. Certain people are saying here, in as much as he's a tough guy, so to say, yes. not soft-spoken, yes. as um, some, uh, some people would uh, maybe uh, be, maybe, you know, different uh, politicians we have in this particular country. Certain guys are saying that maybe he's the perfect match for the current president. Do you believe so? You see, it's, it depends. I'm not inside these campaign teams. I don't know. Mm -hmm. What I know is it's possible for Ruto mm -hmm. to urge on Matiangi to, 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 to kind of uh, water down the Kalonzo Mshoka campaign. Because mm -hmm. Kalonzo Mshoka is already on the ground. Yes. So if you introduce another force, another force like Matiangi, mm -hmm. they split the votes. You get it? Mm -hmm. And the Ruto then through pass with Raila. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a possibility. And I'm being very honest. Mm -hmm. It is possible. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're, the, you're therefore insinuating that... That that way he may that, just be that, a spoiler. That, that, that Matiangi would be a project. It could be a project to spoil uh -huh. for Kalonzo. Okay. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. uh, but there is also the possibility he can come and win. Why? There is a gap in the Kenyan politics today. <laughs> there is a major constituency that just showed us its face briefly and with the rule, Gen Z. <laughs> if the interest in what's going on in the country is maintained by the Gen Zs until 2027, <laughs> they are the ones who will decide who becomes the president. So if Machangi came and occupied that constituency, <laughs> then he will not be a joke. He will not be a spoiler. Mm -hmm. He will be the man to beat. Mm -hmm. yes. So the same, same Gen Z constituency that we are talking about here yes. is being eyed for by uh, Jimmy Wanjigi as well because uh, ideally when it comes to President Ruto, we may say that he has lost favor with that particular Yes, yes, yes. But then Jimmy Wanjigi also comes in with this kind of idea that he is the one who may be more appealing to this particular constituency as well. If you look at him versus uh, uh, Matiangi then... When I take the pulse of the nation, uh -huh. when I take the pulse of the nation, mm -hmm. when I look at the landscape, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I look at the map and everything, mm -hmm. Matiangi seems to be the bigger name. Mm -hmm. yes. The people are looking for a name uh -huh. to fill that space. Mm -hmm. It can't be a Gen Z, it can't be Monara Kebaso. Mm -hmm. They know it. Mm -hmm. They are not naive. Mm -hmm. They need somebody. They are looking for somebody. And names that have been floated, mm -hmm. that one has been floated. Mm -hmm. Omtata has been floated. Okay, mm -hmm. Omtata. Mm -hmm. But Matiangi. Jinayake mm -hmm. inashika. Inashika. Unasikia inashika. Inashika. Yeah, inashika. Mi inasikia pulse ya inchi hii. And I'm telling you, if Matiangi came in force, mm -hmm. If it's not a project, mm -hmm. it will be dangerous. Okay. It will be a dangerous card. Mm -hmm. but, but, you know, politicians are always short-sighted, mm -hmm. selfish. Mm -hmm. If they wanted to be a one-touch job, mm -hmm. no runoff, mm -hmm. they just combine it with Kalonzo. Okay. Fisher. Mm -hmm. He <laughs> says he's a worker. Mm -hmm. he's, he's not very old. Mm -hmm. He has 20 years to be as old as Raila, if you want to know. Mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. Matiangi has 20 years to be as old as Raila. Mm -hmm. He has 10 years to be as old as me. Mm -hmm. So he can still run. Mm -hmm. If he came and said, because he's a worker, mm -hmm. he can deliver on the ground, he say he's going to be the prime minister mm -hmm. in the new government. Eugene Wamalwa is going to be the running mate. Mm -hmm or the deputy president, mm -hmm. and Kalonzo is going, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> even Ruto cannot campaign. Mm -hmm. oh, he can't. For you, that's a killer. Oh, kind. it's a killer punch. Uh -huh. You can't. Uh -huh. You can't stand it. But the politicians are always short-sighted. They are always selfish. Mm -hmm. They don't see what everybody sees. Mm -hmm. In 1992, we thought Jaramogi is an old man. Mm -hmm. He has been at this all these years. Mm -hmm. Why didn't everybody just queue behind him and Moi would have gone home? 
The man died two years later. Maybe he could even have died a year earlier. Then he died because of happiness. At, at last, at last. The guys could not even see that. Of course, it was more behind the game, behind the scene, pushing the strings. Mati bapa kidogo na fruta hapat kibaki. Yeah. Okay. But basically, mm -hmm. even in 2013, mm -hmm. why didn't Uhuru support Raila? So much energy, so much negativity, mm -hmm. so much destruction, so much life lost. Mm -hmm. Now they were together. Look at Ruto with, with Raila. Mm -hmm. I said it in 2013. The country need not have gone to an election, competitive election. Mm -hmm. They would just have supported Raila. Uhuru would have taken over. Ruto could have followed if he wanted. Mm -hmm. Simple. Think, and people thought I was joking. In 2022, I said the same. Mm -hmm. I said, look here. This is a moment to create a new Kenya. Mm -hmm. Why don't they, these people just support Raila? For one term, 2022. 2027, Ruto come, fight against with Kalonzo, whoever wins. Mm -hmm. But the country will have moved together with a lot of negativity not mm -hmm. being around. And, 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 and okay. A lot of focus on creating a new Kenya. Mm -hmm. So even this can be another moment okay. where Matiangi can come, mm -hmm. he supports Kalonzo mm -hmm. and Eugene. Mm -hmm. And then after five years in 2032, mm -hmm. Kalonzo gives way. Eugene could take over, and now at that time, Gashagwa can come on board mm -hmm. with Matiangi. Mm -hmm. well, on on a hapo hapo too, because whether we like it or not, mm -hmm. we are going to have a, a powerful office of a prime minister mm -hmm. sooner than later. Okay. Yeah, so that can fit Matiangi, it can mm -hmm. fit Gashagwa, it mm -hmm. can fit uh, Kalonzo, it can fit Eugene. Hapo hapo ndani wanatemu. Okay. But I'm sure politicians. No, don't no, do no. That. Let's 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 have this. Of course, you cannot actually uh, wish away the house of Mumbi and expect to be the leader of this particular country. That yes. is true. It's a fact. Now, that being factual as it uh, is, uh, we are having this kind of conversation here. You are saying that uh, perhaps there is that kind of a possibility that he could be used as a project, maybe by. Ruto. Yes. And uh, this is a possibility, a remote yeah, one. Yes, I see. I see. Me, me, mm -hmm. I'm a critical mind. Mm -hmm. That's what I am. Mm -hmm. And I'm just saying it is a possibility. Okay. So that nobody is surprised. Mm -hmm. Yes. So Ruto is actually right now having his troubles with the mountain. Yes. Not so sure. Yes. For Matiangi to successfully become the president of this country, if at all he is serious, yes. then he needs the support of that particular country. Correct. And uh, that the House of Mumbi would therefore determine maybe uh, who becomes his running mate as well. They may not. For now, I think it is not in the interest of Mount Kenya people <laughs> to go for presidency or deputy president. It's mm -hmm. not in their interest. It's in their interest <laughs> to clear the ground by removing Ruto. Mm -hmm. You dismantle the, the, the Ruto infrastructure mm -hmm. so that the Ruto game plan mm -hmm. is aborted. Okay. Because a, a Ruto game plan must go 10, 15 years after he leaves office. Mm -hmm. So you dismantle all that. Mm -hmm. So whoever you create now mm -hmm. takes over 27, 2032. Mm -hmm. You emerge from 2037 and you can do 20 years. Mm -hmm. yeah. We are having at this possibility, of course, of course, we know very well that uh, uh, possibly President Ruto would be defending his seat, but we also have a Kalonzo uh, Wamalwa ticket here. Yes. Then now, Matiangi comes, if in case he decides to go through all the way to the ballot. Yes. Yes. yes? And then... Don't you then think that perhaps it would be very important for him to pick a running mate from that particular uh, section? Uh, it is possible, uh -huh. but it's not necessary. Not In necessary. fact, mm -hmm. for the Mount Kenya to sell a narrative that is bought by the whole country, mm -hmm. they should say, we don't want. We don't want, we want neither the presidency nor the running mate, mm -hmm. deputy. Mm -hmm. We just want Ruto to go. That can sell. Mm -hmm. It is a magic sell. Narrative. Now that would be depend on who is this mountain who is speaking here. The mountain will be Kuhuru and, and, and the Gashagwa. And there are certain people. Nobody else can speak of that. There are certain people who also believe that uh, if at all it would be a project, then it's more of a Uhuru project, not a Ruto project. It is possible. So let's. Take For Uhuru, it is possible that uh -huh. you, you want to avenge. Okay. You want your pound of flesh uh -huh. from Ruto. Uh -huh. So you bring a person. You avoid Kalonzi, you think he is not capable. If we go so you go for Matiangi. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's another possibility. Uh -huh. But you see now, uh -huh. this thing may not be as difficult as we are making it. Uh -huh. As we dash towards 2027, mm -hmm. the country will be informed 
very clear they will see they everybody will know who is the man likely to beat Ruto. and the rest will just kama ni kalonza ataangalia nyuma aone line ni mrefu mpaka anguke chini aanze kulia machozi say how can kenya support me like this it happened to raila in 207 he could not believe the whole country was behind him I'm informed that Machozi is talking about how many kids are going to die. You know, you can cry, you can weep tears of joy, you can be overwhelmed by emotions. Or Matiangi can come and people say, "No, Kalonzo is going nowhere." Matiangi looks more promising, and the whole thing turns and Kalonzo remains alone. So I'm, I think we are worrying for nothing. Do you think who would decide to support? Uh... Uh, Matiang without bringing that pressure to have his running mate from the central Kenya region? No, it's not necessary. I'm telling you. It's mm -hmm. more strategic mm -hmm. for the Mount Kenya people not Assuming. to go for that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because you have to sell a narrative to the country mm -hmm. that Ruto is so bad. We are foregoing everything mm -hmm. so that nobody think we are do thinks we are doing this thing because we want anything. Mm -hmm. We just want the country to get rid of this bad man. Mm -hmm. We don't we want we don't want anything. Hmm. We don't want anything. Do you think the community We are supporting Kalonzo hmm. with Eugene Matiang is going to be prime minister. We don't want anything. Is it not far fetched to think that the community would not ask kind of questions such as what is in it for How us? is it far fetched and they just gave Ruto without questioning? But at least back then they had the, uh, they, they gave the Ruto president. without questioning. Uh -huh. There was more hope through Raila than if it was a selfish move. Mm -hmm. If the if the Gema community, mm -hmm. if the mountain people mm -hmm. had their eyes on power mm -hmm. in 2022, mm -hmm. that their decision will determine how easy and how quickly they will get power. Mm -hmm. Raila was a man because Mother Karua was behind Raila. Mm -hmm. Raila was a man heading to retirement, mm -hmm. age wise. Eh? Mm -hmm. And as a man who has done so much, it was unlikely he could mm -hmm. do what Ruto has done to Gashagwa. Mm -hmm. It was easier to believe that Raila will hand over power mm -hmm. to the community much more than it would be mm -hmm. for Ruto to do so. So I don't think you can do in a very altruistic way mm -hmm. of course as much as politics can allow it mm -hmm. so it is possible the people can go into this election without wanting something for themselves mm -hmm. but they know their eyes are on the future mm -hmm. yeah so do you see do you see matiangi failing to uh, actually pick a candidate from that particular it's possible okay. it, you know you will have to make a lot of calculations mm -hmm. because the most attractive candidates now, now for running mate mm -hmm are people like Natembe and Eugene Omolo, and they are from Western. Mm -hmm. The Kisi and the Luya are more or less the same people. It's a Western zone. Mm -hmm. So to come from Western and pick from Western is very difficult, mm -hmm. but it happened. Mm -hmm. In 2007, Raila picked his neighbor, mm -hmm. for running mate, or the, the, is, is, uh, deputy president, mm -hmm. and it almost worked. Uh, so that leaves really what you are saying, that that leaves Mount Kenya as the most viable option mm -hmm. for, for running mate. Mm -hmm. And he can work with anybody hmm. from the mountain. Okay. He can work with Muhoho Kenyatta. Mm -hmm. You know, Muhoho Kenyatta is a very viable card. Okay. Very viable. Mm -hmm. And he can subjugate himself for now. So Muhoho Kenyatta brings in the Kenyatta family yes. factor in yes. here. Mm -hmm. And now, uh -huh. because he's not a politician, mm -hmm. the five or so years or ten Matiangi will be in power mm -hmm. will be enough for Muhoho Kenyatta to become a politician. Okay. Although even if he stood now, he stands a very good chance. And if he picks to Moho Kenyatta, definitely we would assume that he would have the support of uh, the former president, Uhuru Kenyatta. Of course. Uh -huh. And there's no way, please. Mm -hmm. The president is not a joke. Mm -hmm. There's no way Matiangi can carry himself to say, I want to be president of this country mm -hmm. without serious backing from people like Uhuru Kenyatta. Mm -hmm. He can't come. How different is our, is our situation if we compare it maybe to a developed world Let's talk of, of course, the most recent elections were for the U.S. We saw former President uh, Barack Obama was so much active and he was yes. behind and campaigning definitely for Kamala Harris. But at the end of the day, uh, Donald Trump emerged victorious here. 
that cast of a former president coming in and campaigning for a, a particular leader at this particular point in time, do you think that perhaps it may actually work against uh, uh, Matiang in this point in sometimes time? Sometimes incumbency, sometimes the feeling of a project is always lingering. Mm -hmm. When you get the support of a former president or something like that, mm -hmm. you appear to be a... The, the pimp factor comes in. Mm -hmm. You appear to be a project of sort. Mm -hmm. You are not your own man. So it's like... It, it, if even Biden almost lost in 2020. Uh, 20, 20. Mm -hmm. Why? He was clearly a project of the democratic machinery. Mm -hmm. And you know, they, 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 I think Bernie Sanders looked like he was standing a very high chance and yes. there was another guy. So, so this was a, a systems candidate. So sometimes when you are a systems candidate, you, you, get, you get into trouble. Especially if you are being backed by a president. Okay. You saw Uhuru Kenyatta backing Raila. Mm -hmm. You saw how it cost Raila. Mm -hmm. The baggage that the in, incumbent has mm -hmm. falls on your shoulders mm -hmm. to carry. Mm -hmm. And it can, it, can, it can cost you an election. Mm -hmm. So, Matiangi, if he is supported by Uhuru, it has to be done very well. But you see, for, for Uhuru now, it's easy. Mm -hmm. The mountain is angry. They are just waiting for direction. Okay. From Uhuru, from Gachagua, mm -hmm. Kwisha, there. Mm -hmm. you, you don't need to bother. Hata mm hakuna -hmm. style. Kwa kikuyo wa sama ki ududo. Kienyeji tu unangusha, poop. Seba tunayenda kwa kalonzo. Okay. Is that easy mm -hmm. for them? For Matiangi, if he's serious and he starts campaigning in as much as right now, he's not all, already on the ground. Uh, but do you think that perhaps now that uh, uh, traditionally the, 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 the Kisi community, the Gusi community have voted more or less in the same basket with their low brothers, that this would actually continue and perhaps he would inherit that particular constituency. I think Matiang cannot come from the ground. Mm -hmm. No. If he tried to come from the ground, why am I telling this and he has hired some foreigner? Mm -hmm. If it is true. Yes, yes. Why has he not hired me? Uh -huh. By the way, I can do. I saw what Cambridge Analytica did for Huru. I could do 10 times by using my Hillman Analytica. Uh -huh. yeah. mm -hmm. But you see, he has taken money to Canada. Mm -hmm. Why didn't he even give me a quarter of that money? Mm -hmm. I, I do this thing for him so locally. You can do better work down of here. Of course, I have a outfit called Hillman Analytica. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. We can do it better than... A man who's this. been on the ground. We know this kind full understanding yeah. of the political landscape. And we know the games those people play. Uh -huh. Sometimes they're overtaken by events. Mm -hmm. The situation in Botswana mm -hmm. is not similar to the situation here. Mm -hmm. The Botswana experience is very different. Mm -hmm. That man is delivered the presidents for that guy in Botswana, eh? yes. again as the incumbent. Mm -hmm. But the situation there is different from our situation here. Mm -hmm. Ours is quite different. You need people who understand. Okay. And even when those guys come, mm -hmm. because they will not be operating from deep state offices, mm -hmm. Cambridge Analytica helped to hold because they were operating with the backing of the deep state and the state. So if you are bringing somebody from outside, mm -hmm. the way the, he did in Botswana, mm -hmm. I, the Kenyan the Kenyan ecosystem is very complex. Mm -hmm. You need people who understand it. Mm -hmm. But we wish Matiangi the best. Mm -hmm. He's a friend of mine. I can, I will have bragging rights that he was my friend. Mm -hmm. He's now that uh, you know, when you must use the word "was," mm -hmm. when they get to power, they cannot be your friends. <laughs> you see, guys who are my friends are, are made ministers the other day. Mm -hmm. They can't pick my calls. No, they can't pick your calls. Oh, where's <laughs> <laughs> You definitely need an appointment too. To so you it. can only say the, he was my friend, mm -hmm. not he's your friend. Mm -hmm. Friendship in Aisha Mutuaki Pandaju. Okay, let's wait and see. I wonder whether he's serious, but then that is time will tell. Uh, the Machiangi name has some magic on it. Mm -hmm. And the ground is waiting for a name. Mm -hmm. And the Kalonzo is dilly dally. Mm -hmm. He's the man in the room. Mm -hmm. He has refused to take a, a seat mm -hmm. before anybody else comes. Mm -hmm. He's still talking to people. Mm -hmm. They are still talking outside there. And the house has been arranged. The table is laid. He should sit there and occupy the space. This space is calling for somebody to occupy it. Mm -hmm. So if Kalonzo continues the way he's doing it, Matiangi will come and occupy the space and run away with it. Paka 2027. Mm -hmm. If he's coming. What? I'll make a point, by the way, of calling him and asking mm. Matiang, is it true? Mm. How can I be hearing of things about you from the papers? Mm -hmm. So after this, I'm going to call him. Definitely call him and uh, 
That seems so that we can actually get to know firsthand. But also quarrel him. Uh -huh. Tell him, how can you get a Canadian farm and I'm here? Mm -hmm. And you can do a better job. Of Canadian. course. Mm. Well, let's wait and see. Profi is telling uh, uh, his friend, Dr. Amatiang, that if only he wants to become the president of this country, then the best person to seek for <laughs> his services here is Prof himself. Well, let's... And I'll put in... It's uh -huh. not just me. Uh -huh. I'll create an infrastructure machinery of the best brains uh -huh. in this country uh -huh. to mount an election like no other. Uh -huh. I know you are winding the show, but let me tell you, if I was in charge of Raila's uh -huh. campaign in 2022 uh -huh. or 2027, there is no amount of shenanigans, gerrymandering, uh -huh. no amount of rigging would have prevented Raila from being the president. She would have taken the seat. Uh -huh. that's, that's a sort of Thing I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. We have the capacity and there are people and we can identify people to put up a team that can see Matiangi become president or Kalonzo for that matter. Mm -hmm. Reluctantly, even Ruto, we can make him <laughs> remain president. <laughs> if it's a job we are doing, you know, it's just a job. In as much as the, you, you're saying <laughs> here that he's lost everything, you people can still be yeah, able. We can package him and he mm -hmm. wins. And if it is a job. And make him sellable. So that we don't take market. foreign exchange to outside the country. Definitely. Or Tony Blair in UK, OSG who in Canada, and we are here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that is it under the Hillman Analytica yes, umbrella. Yes, yes, yes. Hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, feel free to talk to us. You can weigh in and tell us whether uh, you think that uh, Dr. Fred Matien can actually make a good president. Should he sail through? Allow me to stop this conversation at this particular moment. Till we have it again, have yourself a lovely day. Thank you for watching. My name is Evans Okini. Okay.